Hey guys, welcome back to the Mimi Frugal Chef. Today we'll be making easy, delicious pretzel bites. Now this is a delicious recipe and super easy to make. So let's get started. What we're gonna do first is, in a small bowl, we're gonna add one and a half cups of warm water. Into our water, we're gonna add two and one fourth teaspoons of yeast. And we're gonna let this sit for one minute. I transferred my yeast into a bigger bowl and what we're gonna do now is add one tablespoon melted unsalted butter. Now make sure your butter is not hot. It's not warm or hot, it's cooled down. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of brown sugar. We are gonna whisk this until it is all combined together. Once you have all your ingredients mixed in, what we're gonna do is we are going to add three and three fourths cups of all-purpose flour. And now we're gonna add this cup by cup to this. Mi mixing it with a wooden spoon. Just like this. Put our dough on top of a counter top or a clean board. And what I just did, I sprinkled my counter with some flour. And I'm gonna now knead my dough until we can form a soft, not sticky ball. I greased my bowl with some olive oil. Now you can use non-stick spray, but olive oil is just fine too. And I formed my dough into a little ball and I put it in and now we're gonna cover this and let it rest for 10 minutes in a warm area. Now I'll see you in 10 minutes. It has been 20 minutes since I last seen you. Now what we're gonna do is I sprinkled a little bit of flour on my counter top and what I, I'm i gonna do now is with a sharp knife. Now make sure you have adult supervision so you don't have any accidents in the kitchen. We're gonna cut little balls or ropes of your dough just like this. And once you have those, you're gonna cut them in half and make them into small balls, like this. Like that. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing with all of our dough. We're gonna turn these balls into 20 inch long ropes, just like this. Okay everyone, once you have your your 20 inch long rope, what we're gonna do is with a sharp knife, we're gonna cut one inch of the rope to make little bites, just like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on parchment paper or a baking, a silicone mat to bake these. Okay everyone, before we bake our bites, what we're gonna do is in nine cups of warm water, we're gonna add half a cup of baking soda and we're gonna mix this until it's all incorporated together. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put our bites into the water for 10 seconds. And now we're gonna take them out with a spatula or a spoon. 
and put place them on our baking mat or parchment paper. Just like this. Now make sure none of them are touching when you place them on your mat just so that they don't stick together. And now we're gonna just do the exact same thing with all of them. Okay everyone, once your pretzels are all done and baked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a, a beaten egg just like this and we're just gonna add a little bit, but really little, on the top of our pretzels. Just like this. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add some sea salt to the top. Just like this. Just like that. And I'm super excited to taste this. They seem delicious, so let's go ahead and taste it. Now I'm just gonna eat it plain without any sauce, but you can eat it with cheese, you can eat it with a spicy sauce, you can eat it with whatever you want. Mm, these are absolutely delicious. They, they taste incredible. Okay everyone, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. You know what I also really appreciate? If you could subscribe and give it a big thumbs up if you like this recipe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my delicious recipes. Bye, see you next time.